So we're putting each of these vases that have exactly the same height under a tap. Okay, and water's gushing out of the tap at exactly the same speed. What's it going to look like? Well, here's a cylinder, okay? So the, the, the diameter isn't changing at all. So it's just going to fill up at, its, at a full speed until it gets full. And then there's going to be no increase in height because there's nowhere for the water to go but pour out the outsides. Okay? What about in the next one then? Well, in the next graph, we can see that it's very shallow at the bottom. So it's going to fill up faster than it did on this one. But then it gets very wide at the top, so it's going to go, sort of go like that until it's full. So it's going to start, start filling up very quickly because it's narrow at the bottom. And then as it gets wider and wider, it's going to slow off. This one is going to do the opposite. It's going to start really, really slowly at the bottom because it's a really big, the height is not going to increase very much. We've got a big volume to fill. So it's going to start slowly at the bottom, but then as it gets narrow at the top, it's going to go faster. And then we have this last one here, which we can see it's going to start slowly at the bottom, like this one. Then there's a point in the middle where it's almost like a straight cylinder. And then it's going to go slow again at the top. So it's going to look like that one. So you just have to think about the water flowing at the same rate. How, how quickly is the water going to fill upwards? Here the, there's no change, so it's going to be the same amount every, every minute. If it's five centimetres a minute, it's going to be five centimetres a minute here, five centimetres a minute here. Five. This one is going to go much quicker in the beginning because there's not very much volume to fill in the beginning and it's got the same flow rate. So that's sort of how you think of those type of questions, filling a vase.